Hey guys, today I'm going to take you out into the shop and we'll make some machinist jacks. Now these are the kind of thing that are pretty handy to have around the shop and they really make things easier sometimes. Um, I just bought some uh, fine threaded 10 millimeter bolts and then I turned and drilled and tapped this piece here, the base for it. So uh, yeah. Let's get started. So I'm starting out with a piece of uh, round stock and this one is 30 millimeters so the finished OD of the jacks are going to be about 29 millimeters. And as you can see I'm using my collet chuck which is really working out well. Using my cutoff tool, I make a groove with a diameter of 25 millimeters, and this is going to act as a marker when I'm turning my taper. Then I face the bottom of the jack and I take away some material in the center of the bottom and what this will do is it will help the, the jack stand better if the surface it's standing on isn't perfect if there are some chips or some small dings. For everyday turning I almost always use my Sandvik WNMG turning tool and uh, there's no critical measurement here it's pretty much a question of cleaning the part up to make a good finish. Since I'm using a fine threaded metric M10 bolt, I center drill using a 9mm drill bit. And when drilling I often use coolant because I think it really helps save the tool. And uh, it is a little bit messy but I really don't mind the extra cleanup that much. So I get the tap started by putting it in the drill chuck and then I continue tapping by hand.
So when it comes to the tapered part, my lathe don't normally have a compound fitted, so I have to swap my tool post for this compound which I've modified to fit my lathe. And after a quick cleanup, it's time to swap back to the tool post. So it takes a couple of hours and you have yourself a pair of machinist jacks and they're really handy to have around the shop and I'm looking forward to be able to support my work pieces a little better whenever I need to. So I want to thank you all for watching and I really appreciate it when you leave comments. I try to answer them all and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.